Hello friends. So we won't ask you what an artist is, because obviously everyone knows that. However, it does turn out that artists are not necessarily people who paint on canvases with paints and brushes. It's impossible to foresee the result of creativity, and sometimes artists come up with extremely unusual and incredible ways to express themselves. Do you want to meet the most incredible and original artists of our time? Then keep watching, and let's get it on. Miguel Endara Have you ever had that feeling after sitting at the table for a long time writing something that your hand's about to fall off? Well, this artist, Miguel Endara, probably had that like a million times. The fact is that he creates paintings using millions of ink points. The style that this Spanish artist has chosen is called pointillism. It requires incredible perseverance and unthinkable patience. Every day, the artist spends from six to eight hours at work. All this time, he sits, bending over the paper and squeezing the ink pen in his hand. Personally, only thinking about it makes our back hurt and our hands. Overall, in his career, he's drawn many paintings. However, his most famous work is known as Hero, a portrait of Miguel Endara's father. The painter spent 210 hours on this work, painting 3,200,000 ink dots. Leandro Granato Painting eyes sounds like the name of some low-budget horror film, but no, they really exist. It was Argentine artist Leonardo Granato who came up with this idea. The drawing technique is quite simple. He fills his nose with paint, then he forces the paint up through his eye and squirts it onto a canvas. When you watch him create his paintings, only one question comes to mind. How did he come up with this? The idea seems incredible and even a little insane, but in fact, it's less insane than it seems. When Leonardo was a child, he discovered an interesting physiological feature. He can squirt liquid out of his eyes in a thin stream. Later, he had an idea. What if he uses this feature to create paintings? At the very beginning of his career, no one supported Leonardo. His friends and relatives considered this idea very strange, to put it mildly. However, he didn't give up continued to follow his own path and actually achieved success. Today, experts believe that Leonardo made a definite contribution to contemporary art. The cost of his paintings sometimes reaches $2,500. Alexandre Farto, Veals Although Alexandre Farto, better known as Veals, is a street artist, his work has nothing to do with spray paints. Instead of creating street art with the help of new materials, he uses old materials which he finds in the city. In other words, Alexandre creates drawings, destroying building plaster in certain places. The artist believes that people are greatly influenced by everything that surrounds them. If a building was built about 10 to 20 years ago, as a rule it has several plaster layers on its walls. Instead Instead of covering the plaster with a new layer of paint, the artist decided to uncover it, showing it to the people. Since it's part of the local history at some level, Alexandre likes to think that his works are some sort of window through which you can look at the building and understand what happened to it in all those years. Lee Hongbo at first glance, these sculptures of Chinese artist Li Hongbo are like any other sculpture that you can find in museums around the world. But something magical happens if you try to touch the sculptures. Suddenly, they are flexible, capable of stretching and growing. The fact is that for the creation of the sculptures, Li Hongbo uses ordinary wrapping paper. The secret is in the way it's glued together. A lot of thousands of sheets are cut out, put on top of each other, and then glued together to create some sort of honeycomb. When the honeycombs are large enough, they're quite easy to fold like an accordion, forming what looks like an absolutely dense monolithic figure. The artist was inspired by traditional Chinese balls, which are also made of paper. Hong Yi, or Red 
Malay artist Hong Yi, better known under the pseudonym Red, decided to encourage people to pay more attention to everything that surrounds them. That's why, for the creation of her paintings, she always uses new materials. She's used feathers, candles, books, flowers, and even socks. If you look at her works, it may seem that she simply doesn't like brushes. Hong Yi herself admits that she always liked to paint, but in the end, none of her works were painted with a brush. Each time, the artist comes up with something new, and everybody is amazed by her boundless imagination. For example, in 2014, Hong Yi created a portrait of famous actor Jackie Chan using wooden chopsticks. It was a gift for his anniversary when the actor turned 60. To create the work, she used 64,000 sticks. In 2012, she painted a portrait of the famous Chinese basketball player Yao Ming using paint and a basketball. She even joked that finally her basketball training in high school had paid off. She also made portraits of Ronaldo, Neymar, and Messi in 2014, just before the World Cup. It's not difficult to guess exactly what she used instead of a brush, though. Of course, a soccer ball. Cut! <laughs> Jim Denovan a great idea came to the mind of American artist Jim Denovan unexpectedly. About 20 years ago, he was walking along a sandy beach when he thought, why not use the beach as a canvas for drawings? It was then that he drew his first painting, a simple fish using his fingers instead of brushes. According to the artist, at some point he was so dedicated to this new hobby that he stopped surfing, which he loved, and even quit his job as a cook. Over the years, Jim visited the beaches of several countries. He painted on the shore of Australia, Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, and Russia. This drawing technique involves a great deal of physical work, because in a day of work, the artist walks about 50 kilometers. In 2009, Jim created the largest work of art in the world. He and his three assistants chose the Black Rock Desert in Nevada, USA as a canvas. The diameter of the biggest circle of the fractal exceeded 14 and a half kilometers. To make the painting clearly visible from a height of 12 kilometers, the artist created sand lines over eight and a half meters wide. In total, the creation of this work took 15 days. Salavat Fidai Russian artist Salavat Fidai became famous throughout the world when he discovered an interest in creating micro-miniatures. This is a work of art so small that working on their creation as a rule requires using a microscope. As an initial material for his works of art, the artist chose pencil graphite. It's difficult to imagine how such an original idea occurred to him. The creation of each graphite sculpture takes at least 12 hours, and the artist doesn't always manage to achieve the result, which he was originally hoping for. Four. Salavat admits, at the very beginning of the journey, he spoiled two to three pencils before he finally grasped the desired figure with the help of a knife. Now he's got the hang of it and makes mistakes much less often. Interestingly, Salavat Fidai is a lawyer by education. However, he was interested in art since childhood and even graduated from art school. And this passion helped him to acquire world fame in the end. The artist's figurines are very popular. Buyers from various countries are willing to pay $500 or more for them. If you're still not impressed, here's an interesting fact. Salavat Fidai is able to make figures even from the thinnest graphite with a 0.35 millimeter cross section. Chai Hitotsuyama. The next person on our list is Japanese artist Chai Hitotsuyama. She claims that she understood the meaning of life while she was making sculptures. She was always interested and amazed by animals of large size, as well as those that have very thick wool. They, in the end, became the prototypes for her sculptures, but of course, she doesn't use clay or ceramics. It turns out that these beautiful, detailed sculptures are made from old newspapers. In total, the artist has created more than 60 sculptures. There are rhinoceroses, monkeys, walruses, and even hares and turtles. Such an unusual material was chosen because her father had once a paper strip factory. Since childhood, Chai was surrounded by a lot of paper, so she decided to use this material for her work. Debbie Smith British artist Debbie Smith invites us to look at usual objects like pins and threads from a new angle. The fact is that she uses them to create unusual paintings. You can think that Debbie is somewhat of a seamstress, but her creations have nothing to do with sewing and embroidering. Usually as a canvas, the artist chooses white fabric. She places the drawing of the future picture under it, after which Debbie uses pins to mark the contours. The final stage is pulling the threads between the pins, which gives the image the final 
look. From a distance, the pictures look as if drawn with a pen, and Debbie Smith confesses that she's achieving exactly this effect. After all, when people come closer and understand how the painting's made, the expression of surprise on their faces is priceless. Ian Cook the last artist on our video is Ian Cook from Great Britain. In order to create his paintings, he uses remote control toy cars and more. Some pictures were painted using the wheels of real vehicles. His creative career began in 2007, and his original works gained popularity very quickly. The paintings were even shown in the famous television show Top Gear. In his work, the artist uses a variety of very different techniques. For example, he puts paint on the canvas and then launches a toy car to make the lines and silhouettes he needs with the wheels. Another technique is to use the wheels of the toy cars like a brush. Sometimes, Ian uses real cars, as they can create an interesting texture. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great. 